The CBC reports that Quebec's Construction Commission has been investigating allegations that a Montreal mosque requested a nearby construction site not have any female workers present. The workers told their representative that the request to remove women from the site during prayer time on Fridays came from a neighbor, not the mosque. Yet TVA Nouvelle initially claimed there was a clause in the workers' contract for this religious accommodation. It has emerged that the clause now in question actually does not request that no women be present on Fridays, but that no work at all be conducted during prayer time. The contract had no connection at all to the informal, unaffiliated request from someone in the area. TVA's false reporting has distorted what was only a friendly neighborhood suggestion that cannot be confirmed to have occurred. This story shows how dangerous myths can be in the era of fake news, far right. The doubtful, questionable news has demonized members of the al il Bayit mosque and caused a backlash that is beyond harmful. The community has been attacked online and bombarded by hateful messages. Zara al-Malawi said, It was really upsetting. I just felt like there's already so much backlash and hatred. And this, on top of that, okay, well, where did this come from? Out of nowhere. They are one of the most open mosques in Montreal, said lawyer Shahad Salman. They always get candidates and officials, and they never ask anyone, even women, to wear the hijab when they come in. The head of the Construction Commission said, It seems that women may have been sent somewhere else. The workers who said they were approached have not been interviewed but have said through their union representative that they do not know who made the request. As summarized by the Premier of the province, it's a baseless report, essentially. It's too bad because it creates tension in our society. TVA has apologized and is conducting an internal investigation.